Okay, now we're gonna get this animation to work. I'm gonna come over here. If your relationship folder is not open, you're gonna wanna open it because we're gonna adjust a couple things here. And obviously it shows all of our different constraints. And if you don't have this done, you're gonna wanna go back, follow those directions and get them done. Here we go, scrolling all the way down, we are going to want to turn off uh, one of the train tracks. So I'm gonna click on the arrow on the components and go to, all the way down to the last one. Uh, again, hit that arrow. I'm going to just right click on this curved track, just turn off the visibility by checking it. So now I'm going to hit a uh, constraint on here, and I want to do a single constraint and a direct constraint. I'm going to flip this around and click on the back of the train body and also uh, one of the spokes. And I'm going to change this um, angle to 100 and just to make sure that it spins, and it did, and hit apply. I'm really just doing that so that when I hit this parameters, if you've never used this before, it opens up all of your different constraints. And I changed it to 100 so that I can easily find it. So in my case, it's D43. It might be something totally different from you. Um, because it's just the number of constraints I've used. So the reason why I named it 100 degrees is so that I should have it at 100 degrees and you should have it 100 degrees and that's the one we wanna change. So we wanna change that. We're gonna click on where it says D43 and call it crank. By the way, this is case sensitive. I'm going all lowercase. I'm gonna hit done there. And actually, I'm just gonna right click back on a uh, that angle and change it back to, to zero and it spun back. So that's cool. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and hit constraint and I'm going to do an angle constraint and a direct angle constraint. And I want to click on um, the right side of this pivot box and um, the train track right there. And I'm going to make this crank divided by 12 and hit apply and okay I'm going to zoom back out real fast this um, constraint right here this is the one that we are going to drive so I'm going to click on that uh, maybe two times just so it turns like this and I'm going to call this drive so I remember that's going to be my driver and I want to right click on that and go to drive I'm going to start at zero degrees and uh, let's try 360 degrees and press play. And you can see it is going around the track. And so what we have set up here is some success. This is great. This is like our first animation with the train. Good job. 360 degrees equals one track. If your train is going the opposite way or the wheels are going the opposite way, you can go back and change your crank and put a negative sign in front of your crank. One way to also speed it up is to hit this right here and change your degrees from one to like four. I'm gonna right click on drive. I'm gonna hit drive and I'm gonna make this go around and around and around like 25 times. This is just going to go around forever. There it goes. And I've got the speed set at uh, 4 degrees, a little bit faster. It's acting like there's a track there. That's okay. We're going to I want to turn that track back on. So here we go. I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to hit turn the visibility back on. There's that. I'm going to make sure that it works one more time. Right click on drive. That This drive is our angle constraint from the back of the train body to the wheel. And it's actually driving because of this angle constraint right here and this is like all you know a domino effect the train body 
is constrained to the train tracks, but the motion of it is constrained to this pivot box, and the pivot box is the thing that is making it turn around and around. So let's right click on that, hit drive, check it out one last time, going around and around, great job, save your work, raise your hand, flip that cup to red, and show your teachers your great work. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.